Uh, let's jump to Steph Curry, who sat down moments ago after his 47th career postseason 30-point game. Um, is this maybe the most complex defensive series from a game plan, like within the game, changing defensive coverages up that, that you guys have had? Uh, yes and no. Like, there's a lot of communication because we switch defenses a lot throughout the game, but what we're trying to do is pretty straightforward in terms of <clears throat> giving Luca a lot of different looks because he has a ball in his hands pretty much every possession, so you have to as long as we're on the same page, you know you're going to send a lot of bodies at him. You're going to have to rotate and whatnot. Where we get in trouble is if we try to switch when you're on the fly and not everybody's on the same page, so you give up something. Um, but from man to zone or box, whatever it is, like those are pretty straightforward defenses that we've practiced pretty much all year. Steph, when you take a look at that box score, what, what sticks out to you? 109 to 100. And Looney's just been consistently grabbing boards for you this series. Another game with 12 rebounds. I mean, how helpful has he been inside the paint in this uh, in this series and on the road tonight? It's a testament to how things change in the playoffs. You know, from series to series, even in the series from game to game, where you have to have everybody stay ready. Um, if you ask Loon. Game four of the Memphis series, like, how do you feel? He probably would have said that not knowing what was about to happen. And he comes in game six, um, makes a huge difference, has a, you know, career night rebound ball in this series. He's had career nights and has an amazing impact every night. So it's how we do things, obviously, with – Everybody being a part and being a factor at some point, but it's how the playoffs go. And you just love to see a guy get rewarded for, you know, staying ready. Steph, when did when did you, um, I guess, come to the realization that when you get into these moments that Wiggins was a guy who could, who could be with you, you know, and Steph and, you know what I mean, Clay and Draymond, like when did it hit you like, this is somebody, if we're in that moment, he's going to be good with us. There's no moment that said that from the time the trade happened, that was the idea of what he could do to impact games for us defensively, his athleticism. He was a 20-point scorer, so he knew how to put the ball in the basket, but he would be asked to do it a different way and balance you know, with the rest of the guys. But we've been preaching that since he joined the team um, a little over two years ago, and it's amazing to see it <clears throat> happen under the bright lights. Like, you don't know how a guy's going to respond, you know, when they're asked to do what we're asking him to do at this stage in the season, in the playoffs, and you have the highest hopes. But he's he's stepping up, and that's only because of his approach and his attitude and uh, him just being a gamer. What we're asking him to do is, you know, guard the best guy on the other side, make it difficult on him, you know, be aggressive offensively, take what you see. We're just doing rebound the ball. It's been awesome. Um, and even just his comfort level to put put pressure on the rim. Like, we don't have that much vertical threat, you know, with other guys that we have. And he can, he can provide that when driving lanes are there. You see him just attack the rim, get to the foul line. You know, the dunk he had, the putback he had, like, all that stuff matters. Steph, what happened there on the sideline? Uh, were you just simply tripped uh, and were you a little, little upset by that? Yeah, man, like, it was 30 seconds before halftime. If you order a drink, just wait till halftime. It's like, right, I don't know why they needed to deliver it right then. Um, thankfully, I was all right, but uh, hopefully that uh, that guy – he, he he was doing his job, so hopefully he got a big tip. And before that, was there a little words between you and the, and the Mavericks bench, or what was going on there? It was like kind of everybody came together there for a little bit. You celebrated the three by running all the way to the other side, and then it took a long time for you to Oh, play. no, it was just playoff words being exchanged from everybody. Um, it's a lot of parties involved on that one. Uh, Steph, uh Going back to Andrew, does it add to your motivation to see a player like him who had to go through some rough stretches early in his career 
Does it add to your motivation to see him have this success in his first playoff run? It's just a testament, again, to the um, the vision of the fit that he was going to be when the trade happened, the fact that we know we needed everybody to step up <clears throat> for us to get back to the stage and for us to win one playoff series, let alone get to where we are right now. Um, it's not motivation, it's more uh, an excitement that we can do it a different way with a guy that hasn't been at this level yet, knowing he was an amazing scorer, you know, his journey through the league, that he could figure out how to impact winning. That's all we keep saying, just find a way to impact winning. Loom's been doing it. Uh, Wiggs has been doing it. <clears throat> JP's been doing it. So that's how we do things. Steph, did you see Luca's shimmy, and can you give your professional uh, critique of it? He, I didn't see it. I gotta go look. I gotta. I'll do some homework, and I'll I'll get back to you on that one. Uh, 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 <laughs> also, were you? There was some talk before this series that you know there was this was the changing of the point guard. There was you, you versus the young guy. Did did you get any motivation from that? Like talk about comparisons between you and Luca. Uh. Y'all know I hear everything. That's not the motivation, though. The motivation is the fact that we're back on the stage with the opportunity to chase a finals uh, appearance again after you know two years of hiatus. And like I said, ever being back with <clears throat> our core, um, but with a new cast of characters, that's as an opportunity to do something special. So um, I don't need any extra motivation. It's just trying to take advantage of the opportunity, you know. And they don't. They're not gonna come. No, uh, they don't. You shouldn't take it for granted. And there, uh, there's a limit to how this goes. Twenty six series now in a row with a road win. Is there a, is there a thread that you can see when half the team is new? Yeah, me, Clay, and Draymond, and even Andre on the bench, uh, helping us out, being our voice, our eyes, and ears. We all just know how to win. Um, and we love those type of grind out games where it might not be pretty from start to finish, uh, but you just figure out a way to make Im impact plays at the right times and uh, and come out with a win. Like it's a good feeling to to come on the road against a team that has been playing amazing in this building. <clears throat> Especially if you look at just how the last series went with with them, you know, in a two zero hole coming back and dominating at home. Like, that's a big win. There's a lot that goes into making that happen and everybody stepping up and, and contributing. So if we all seen how this this season kind of came together, you start off well, but the little struggles, and then Draymond gets hurt, you get hurt, you're not even back to the playoffs. At this moment, with the way the pieces have come together, do you feel like this team is ready to win a championship? Mm, I mean, I'm not going to fast forward. Like, we're playing great basketball right now. We can play better. Um, but we're finding ways to, like I said, win games. And that's that's how you piece this thing together. Like, there's no expectation other than what's the challenge ahead of us. And the challenge now is to close out a series against a really good team to get back to the opportunity to win the finals. Like, if you ask us, we talked about it when the playoffs started. Like, we had high hopes, and we still do, to win a championship, but we had no idea what it was going to look like. And we were, our goal was to keep getting better as the playoffs went through because we were so far from our peak. Um, with everything that you said going into, you know, how the season ended. So that's not lost on us, but it's exciting knowing we have an amazing opportunity on Tuesday, uh, you know, to come out the West. You said the team could play better. What are a couple of things you'd like to see uh, improved on in game four? Uh, there's just times throughout the game where we kind of get a little scattered and get a little rushed, um, especially offensively. Did a better job of turn, or taking care of the basketball, which is always a key for us, and rebounding. But there's just times where we get a little bit more organized, and you need to take advantage of those stretches of the game because especially on the road those 
can you know dictate a win or a loss if you let a team get momentum, um, especially if you know you you kind of play into their hands a little bit. There was a moment there in the end of the first, um, early second, where we were up, I think ten or eleven. And they claw back to three, which they're supposed to do, but it's a lot of stuff that we can kind of tighten up in terms of what we're trying to do offensively. Uh, our defense has been amazing. The effort's been great. Flying around, trying to make it tough on them. Even, you know, Luca getting 40, a lot of that's from the free throw line, but we can still do, uh, we still make him, make him work. So offensively, we just got to continue to get better. Just going back to Tim's question really quick. Um, would you say, like, this might be the most gratifying season for you guys just because of everything. Gratifying season? Gratifying season just because of everything you guys had to go through just to get here. Obviously, it's always an immense accomplishment to get to this point, but. I mean, we'll see. Steph, how, how much of a factor do you think uh, Wiggins being with you guys, losing in the play-in last year, not making the playoffs, and kind of that? I mean, you guys kind of built this coming up, losing to the Clippers and, you know, building that kind of character. Him having that with you guys, do you think that has had any impact? It's a great call. It's a great uh, – you know, that last 20 games we had last year, we went 15 and five and clawed our way to the AC. And you know we lost those two playoff games. He felt the intensity. That was one of the things we talked about last year. Like we gave it everything we had down the stretch to even get to that position. We would have loved to have you know a playoff series to kind of go through those reps and see if we could have put something together. But those two play playing games and those last 20 games uh, were great for us to build. An understanding of what it, how you know, how you value every possession, the intensity you need to have to win games like that. We obviously finished the season strong record-wise, but didn't you know reach the ultimate goal. He felt all of that. JP felt all of that, um, and it's carried over to this year for sure, and it's carried over into this playoff run where he seems just very uh, composed and under control and understanding what he what he needs to do on a nightly basis and. I hope he feels the, uh, the recognition for I mean, it's not just what it looks like in the stat sheet, it's what it looks like from the eye test and how it impacts the game and how it impacts us winning. Is that your favorite Wiggins dunk? Absolutely. You like the Towns one early in the year. Huh? You like the Towns one early in the year, though. Well, that's that's that just fourth quarter and a big win. Not just because it was Lucas, because it was the way it looked. It was unbelievable. And we got to see 800 replays because of the challenge. So appreciate you, Mark. That was nice.